Good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm Tanya Arneson, Senior Pastor of Jackson First United Methodist Church, and this is Children's Story Time for Thursday, May the 28th. We've been reading together through the Jesus Storybook Bible, and I reminded you on Monday that every story in the Bible eventually points to Jesus. In fact, Jesus, Jesus is on every page of our Bible. Today, we're going to hear about one of Jesus's ancestors, and her name was Leah. This story is called The Girl No One Wanted. There once were two sisters, the youngest sister, and that's this one here. The youngest sister was very beautiful, and her name was Rachel. But the older sister wasn't beautiful at all. Some thought her quite ugly, and her name was Leah. Rachel was the kind of girl who always gets invited to parties and chosen for the team. Everyone loved her, and poor Leah, no one even noticed her. One day, their cousin Jacob came to stay. He was one of Isaac's sons, and he was on the run. Jacob had stolen and cheated and made some enemies, including his own brother, and so now he was hiding. Do you ever hide when you get into trouble? Well, that's what Jacob was doing. The funny thing is, Jacob, of all people, was the one God gave the special promise to, the same promise he had given his grandfather, Abraham, I will rescue the world through your family. But then God chooses people we least expect, as we'll see. Jacob stayed a long time working for his uncle Laban. One day Laban said, Jacob, I have decided to pay you for your work. What do you want? A sudden thought struck him. How about one of my daughters? Ooh. Jacob looked at Rachel, and he looked at Leah. Who would he choose? Well, of course, he would choose Leah, or Rachel. I'll work seven years for free, Jacob said, if I can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked seven years, and at last his wedding day arrived. But that night, Laban played a nasty trick on Jacob. Instead of sending Rachel to marry Jacob, he sent Leah. Now in those days, they didn't have electricity, so it was dark in their tent. And besides, women wore veils and you couldn't see their faces properly. So Jacob su suspected nothing. The next morning, Jacob woke up and screamed. You see, there's some screaming. His new life was lying beside him, but it wasn't Rachel. It was Leah. Jacob jumped out of bed. Laban, he cried, you scoundrel. But Laban said, work for me another seven years, and then you can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked for Laban another seven years, and at last Rachel became his wife. Now Jacob had two wives, but one of his two wives, the one that Jacob loved, was Rachel. He loved her best. No one loves me, Leah cried. I'm too ugly. But God didn't think she was ugly. And when he saw that Leah was not loved and that no one wanted her, God chose her to love specially, to give her a very important job. One day, God was going to rescue the whole world through Leah's family. Now, when Leah knew that God loved her in her heart, suddenly it didn't matter anymore whether her husband loved her the best or if she was the prettiest. Someone had chosen her. Someone did love her with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. So when Leah had a baby boy, she called him Judah, which means this time I will praise the Lord. And that's just what she did. And you'll never guess what God, good job 
God gave Leah. You see, when God looked at Leah, he saw a princess. And sure enough, that's exactly what she became. One of Leah's children's children's children would be a prince, the prince of heaven, God's only son. And that's Jesus we're talking about. The prince would love God's people. They wouldn't need to be beautiful for him to love them. He would love them with all of his heart. And they would be beautiful because he loved them like Leah. You know, boys and girls, it doesn't matter how tall or short or how smart or not or how um, round or thin you are. God looks at you and sees princes and princesses. God looks at you and sees his beloved children. And so you can take um, you can take pride in the fact that you are chosen by God to be his very special children. I hope to see you again next Monday. In the meantime, be blessed, be well, know that you are beloved. Amen.